guys, today I want to make this little patriotic bracelet with you. Elections are coming up, no matter who you vote for. Uh, it's nice to have something that you made yourself. And it goes very well with the patriotic earrings, the star earrings. You can also turn these into earrings and I will show you that in the video. I also want to say that I put a 50% discount on my Etsy patterns. So if you are interested in buying some patterns, the patriotic star earrings, um, puffy star earrings uh, are 50% discount. Also, of course, like everything else in my shop, and it will be discounted until the end of the month. Okay, so that's it. Let's start beading. I'm going to do triangle peyote, and uh, we're going to start off with one blue and two red. And I got a thread that's about 80 centimeters, but I think that's a little bit too long. So I will post how long it really needs to be. But right now I just got started. So I'm going to go and double knot that thread. And I think the best thing to do is to get the beads out of the way. As you can see, I got blue, red, white, and silver seed beads. These are all Delica, so I'm going to go get those a little bit out of the way so that I don't bump into them and they don't blur up my video. So we got the double knot, and blue is where we start. We're going to go into blue. We're going to pick up blue red and we're going to go into red and make sure that it's positioned correctly and then we're going to go on top of red we're going to do white white and we're going to go into red like that now we're going to do red blue and we're going to go into the blue and we're going to step up in the next blue. Okay, so this is the first bead where you started. So you always have to step up in blue. I'm going to go get, pick up that blue. Okay, now we're going to start again with blue red. Right here. And we need to make stripes. So... You got your red, red here already, and that means you have to put your white underneath this white. And because we make stripes, we need to alternate colors. So then we're going to do red, red again into the white. And then we're going to add another white, and we're going to go into the red. Next, we're going to do red blue right there. And we're going to add the stars, which means you're going to add the white. And then you're going to pick up the last two blue to step up like that. Okay, new round blue, red. So you added the red for the uh, the the flag. That means you have to add the white here, and you will have to add the red right there. And then you're gonna do white white again to make sure that you got your stripes. So this is the next stripe, white white. And you're gonna pretty easily see it when. Um, you make a mistake. I just want to make sure that everything is really tight there. Okay. So if I would put a white on there right now, and I would make the mistake for putting a white there, then you would see this. That's what you would see. So you could easily see that you're making a mistake. That means right there, we have to add a red. And when you added the red, you'll have to add the white. And 
that's for the stripes. As you can see, they're coming along pretty fine. So we're going to do a red blue again at the corner. And you don't want stars to bump into each other. So we're going to do a blue in front of the white and then a blue behind the white. Make sure that everything is positioned correctly and then we're stepping up. So we're picking up the last two blue and then we're going to start a new round. Okay, so that's blue red into the red This is the stripe of the white, so we're going to go do the white. We're going to do the red. We're going to do the white. And we're going to add two red on top of white. And then we're going to add white. We're going to add red. We're going to add white. And we're at the corner again, so we're doing red, blue. And then we're going to add another star, which means white, white. On top of white, we're adding a blue. We're adding another white, and we're going to pick up the last two to start a new round. Okay, new round, blue, red, white, and then we're going to do a red. We're going to do a white. We're going to do a red. And we're going to add two white. One, two white. And we're going to make sure that that's correct and not twist it. After white, we get the red. The white. The red. And the white. I'm going to get the red and the blue. And then we're going to close up around those whites again with blue. So that's white in front, uh, blue in front of white. Blue behind the white. Blue in front of the white. Blue behind the white and stepping up for the new round. So that's picking up the last two. Pick them up one by one if you have to, but make sure you get both of them. Okay, next round, blue red again. And if you add the red right there, then the next one will be white. And then the one after that will be red. And then you get white again. And then you get red again. And then you get white again. And then you're gonna do red, red.
into the white. You just did red, so then you're going to do white. And then red. White. Red. White. Red, blue. And then we're going to add another star. White. Blue. White. Blue. White. And stepping up in the last two. Okay, now we're going to do one more round. Blue, red, and we just used red, so that means now we use white. And because we just used white, we're going to now use red, white, Red, white, red, white, white. And we turn. Red, white, red, white, red, white. Red, blue, blue in front of white, blue behind the white, blue in front of white, blue behind the white, blue in front of white. And blue behind the white and stepping up. Now, this needs to be a bracelet that I want to connect in this way. So this is the end. That means we got to go over here to put the loop on there. Okay. So, but we're now we're not going to do uh, blue and red anymore. We're going to now use the silvers and we're going to do the silvers in between. Okay. So this is... The beginning this is where your class is going to come so we're going to go at one silver right here on the corner so these are basically a little bit more starry added uh, stars added silver in white silver in red silver in white silver in red Silver in white, silver in red, silver in white. And now we need to connect our next part here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up four silver. One, two, three, four silver. And we're going to pull that down. And then we're going to pick up this first silver 
And then when we add the other part, we're going to go around through these silvers again. So you got like that will go two times around. And we're going to go into the white. Okay, and make sure that that's nice and tight in there. And then we're going to add silvers again. One. Two. Three. Four. I don't know why I'm counting. Just that I got something to do, I guess. And a little bit more silver. These are uh, 15 OC beads, of course. And then into the red. Right there on the corner. Working our way to the middle. And one two three and then that white one will be the middle and we're going to add a loop of six one two three four five six okay you got need six seed beads and we're going to go through all of them again All up there, got them all, and then like that, and pick up the first, and then we're going to go into the blue, and then we have our loop for the clasp. Okay, so you're going to put a jump ring on there, and we're just going to continue. And another one. So I think 80 centimeters is actually a pretty good size for this piece. I thought it would be less, but not really. I'm going to go into the 15O again, the silver one, into the red. And we're going to work our thread away. And we're going to go either, you know, you can choose what you want to do. You can go into the red and then into the white. Or you can go down the red a couple of times. And whatever you do, always make sure that before you cut it off, you make a turn. Okay? Ow. Just poke my finger with the needle. Okay, so you got to make a turn into the bead next to it. And you got to go. That means you got to go back up again. And then the one next to it, and you go down again. Now everything is tight, and you can cut that off. And then we're going to work the end tail away just the same way. You're right here in the middle, so you're going to go into the red. And then this way, I guess you will just have to go up on the sides here in the white and the red make that turn in the bead next to it I always go up two so that you don't exactly go back in to the bead that you just came out of and then down again and you can also go down in the white instead of the red right here Move it on over to the side if you like, and then just cut it off. And that's number one. Now you need another one, but this time without the loop, and we're going to connect it to that one. So I'm going to start uh, the, the, the next one, uh, and before you go to your silver, then just pause me and we do the silver connecting together. Okay, I added my last part, so I'm going to, uh, the last one is where you put the blue blue in front of the white white. 
and then we're going to add the silvers one two still don't know why I'm counting but I am four five let's see how many go in there six seven and eight okay eight anyway um, you always make sure that you end with white white and that right here you got the blue blue in front of the white white okay so this is going to go right here in between there and first we're going to make a loop one two three four pull that down and then in here in that first seat bead and down in the white and when you do your very last one you will need a loop here for the other side of your clasp I'm gonna make sure that that's in there correctly so that that doesn't turn there we go so then instead of four you will do six like you did on the other one okay so adding these And that's another eight, I guess. One, two. Three. And elections are coming up and it doesn't really matter who wins, but uh, you will probably want some patriotic jewelry. So that's what I'm doing. It's not just the 4th of July, it's also election season. Right there. And in that corner, now we're going to go to half, which is where the white seat bead is. One, two, three, and four. And you're gonna lay that down and you're gonna pick up this one from the previous one and then you're gonna go around in that one So there's two times, two times you went through there with your needle, so that should be sufficient because it's a fire line. And then you're gonna pull that up and then you're gonna continue. Into that first silver into the red and work your thread away two three four into the white and it doesn't really matter if you go zigzag as long as you make sure that you turn in the bead next to it which is this white one so if you're down in a red one the bead next to it is a right one white one and then you can go up a little further if you want and turn back again and pick up a couple of red ones and cut that off and do the same with the other one and then you just continue until your bracelet is long enough and uh, as I said when you get to the last one instead of four here you make a loop of six like you did here and then you can add your clasp 
put an ear hook in there, make two of them, put an ear hook in there, and then you got something like this. If you can't make the stars, this is a, a, a really good uh, substitute for it. You can hang a dangle on there. You also have to do six loops on the first one. Hang a dangle on there, maybe a little star. Like that, you know, with a little dangle on there. Make them earrings like that, or with three, if you like. So that's going to be pretty cool too. Um, so this is a good substitute for earrings if you don't have if you don't have the star on the control. So, but right now I'm working on a bracelet. So this is my last one. Here is where I'm going to add the six seed beads. Four, five, six. Pull that down. So I can hang my clasp on there, and or at first the uh, jump rings, of course. And then I'm just going to continue my path and connect the last one. That's about it. One more and it would be too many. So I got to add my clasp now. And let's get out the jump rings. Okay, I got... Uh, a little extension ring with a jump ring and a little star on there and this one is for my let me get this out of the way this one is for my bracelet nice and strong And this bracelet basically don't, doesn't have a, a left or a right, so you can just hang it on there. Go through that loop, close that up. Be careful you don't break any seed beads. And then that's just one side. And then on the other side you add your clasp on the jump ring. Jump ring. And you close that up. This is what it looks like. Well, I hope you liked it, guys. And I will see you again sometime soon. Bye, guys.